Have you ever wondered what the difference is between the optimal power and the preferred maximum performance setting is in the video control panel? Well, if so, you clicked on the right video because that's exactly what I'm going to be testing today. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right, so before we get started, full disclaimer guys, I get this question over and over and over again when I do testing. I don't have an RTX laptop, I've got a GTX laptop. So my results are for GTX. If you get different results on RTX, um, it makes sense because RTX got a different infrastructure to GTX. Second disclaimer guys, I play open world third person games offline. I do not have any online games on my computer because I get, even though I stated in every single video, people skip through the videos and then they go, oh, but this doesn't work for online. Or, oh, I've got an RTX card, it doesn't work the same. So I'm saying it right up front. But at that, let's get to the results. So just let me show you quickly uh, in video control panel, what I was testing out today is once we go to, Sorry. Once you go to power management mode, I tested optimal power versus preferred maximum performance. Preferred maximum performance has always been my default because whenever I have a power setting, I always want to make sure I get the maximum power. I'm not worried about battery, blah, 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 blah. I want performance, especially considering I've got like a little GTX 1650. But somebody asked me to test it too, so that's what I did. All my games are tested at medium settings. Where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I use a quality setting. All my games are single player, open world, third person games, offline. I don't have any online games. And as mentioned before, I test on GTX, not RTX. So guys, your results may vary if you test on uh, online games. And your results may vary if you use an RTX card. Anyways, let's get to the results. So optimal power over nine games, I added the average FPS is up and I got to 635. Divide the average FPS by nine and my average FPS per game is 70.56 over nine games. Did the same thing for the 1% lows. Over nine games, my 1% my lows are 481. Divide by nine and then my average 1% low per game is 53.44. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, for optimal power setting, it gives me a stability of 75.74%. Moving on, when you set your NVIDIA control panel to prefer maximum performance, over 9 games, my total FPS was 637, divided by 9, so my average FPS per game is 70.78. Not a whole lot of a difference, but it's slight, it's like 0.20 extra average FPS per game. And then did the same thing for the 1% lows. And then my total 1% lows were 485 over nine games. Divide that by nine. And my average, uh, my average 1% low per game is 53.89. So you can see it's not major, but there is like a half, half the FPS average 1% low higher when you set it to maximum performance. Um, and then when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability is 76.14% set to maximum performance over the 9 games I tested. And my stability is 75.74% when you set the video control panel to optimal power. So guys, there's not a whole lot of in it, but if you're looking for the absolute best performance, maximum performance is still your baby. Um, if you're wondering why and what, what it is, so I just looked up uh, the first result here. Optimal performance profile will keep your GPU at base clocks, even if the game doesn't need so much of power. Prefer maximum performance profile will try to use maximum boost clocks based on the load. Guys, there's not a whole bunch in it, but if you want the best performance, select prefer maximum performance. It says it in the name. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. And guys, if you're still watching, you haven't sub uh, subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. And for those of you that are subscribed, but you haven't joined my channel and you want to give me support, 
please consider joining my channel. Other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. It's weekend. Have a great one. Cheers.